Welcome back to part two, where we are fixing the Soul Time Christian Meditation app. It's an app that I absolutely love, that I'm using every day right now, but I don't love the way it looks. In the last episode, I actually showed you what the current app looks like and the hot mess that it is, and I started building the initial home screen, laying out the visual style, making a lot of choices, and now we're going to take all of those choices in that visual style and apply it to a few more screens to flesh this thing out and fix it and send it home looking nicer than it came. All right, our Figma file is open and you can see we currently have the dashboard that we designed, neutralizing it, calming it down. Uh, I've gone ahead and added some new imagery and updated the icons inside. When we press play in our prototype, we can actually kind of scroll through it and see these images and it looks, it just looks real, real nice. And so we're going to continue on and what we have to work on today are these two screens. This would be the uh, meditation list or collection screen and then we're also going to work on the actual meditation player or like the timer app or portion of the application so let's dive right in I have kind of a fun idea and I replaced uh, the first image in line this piece collection uh, with this really fun water image and so I actually want to do something with this really quickly I want to see uh, how it turns out I, I I would think that if you would click on piece you would obviously kind of like what they're trying to do up here you would show um, the image as like kind of a confirmation the user has clicked on it. So let's, we're going to paste this back in here, but I'm going to get everything else out of it. And I just want to see how big we can get this image really quickly because I really love the water here and I love the shape of the water because I want to use it a little bit. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to stretch this thing up. All right, now I'm going to export the JPEG of it and you'll see why here in a second. I'm just going to put that on my desktop. I'm going to call it water. And uh, then I'm going to move over here and I'm going to draw a rectangle and I'm going to drag that water image in there. You're like, Jesse, why did you do that? You already had that. Well, because I'm going to use a plugin called background remover uh, to actually get rid of um, the sky out of the waterline here. And to do that, you need an actual image, not the frame. You need a shape with the image placed in it. And so I'm just going to hit uh, command forward slash, which opens up kind of like my Figma runner. And I'm going to look for remove BG and I'm just going to hit run. I've already set up that plugin. I've already entered my API key and all that kind of stuff with my account. And look, it did exactly what I wanted it to do. Okay. Fantastic. So with that done, I wonder if I could um, bump this up because this is 1254. Let's make it a lot smaller and make it the size of our actual application here, which is it needs to be somewhere around 428. OK, so let's make this 428 and let's make this 428. Will it work 428? We might need a little bit of matching uh, to go on here like oh look at that okay so we have see we have like the water layer in there it's not quite perfect I just need to move it around and stretch it out here a little bit and now our water layer is covering the water now you're like why did you do that well because I want to be able to take this whole thing and bring it into my design okay great I'm gonna take all these elements uh, and use those later I'm going to put this into the top here and then I'm going to need to grab a little bit of typography. So I'm going to grab this big headline here and the name of this uh, was peace. The name of this um, actual meditation collection, right? So I'm going to pop this in here and just write peace nice and big and let's just make it kind of auto fit and semi bold and let's break the color style here and just make it white. So FFF really quickly. And let's even make the size of it like even bigger. Okay. So I'm going to bring it in here and I'm going to hide it behind. Ah, uh, just going to make it tuck a little bit in the water, I think. Now um, let's borrow an element because I'm, I'm seeing a row and I'm going, why would you create new elements when you already have elements created? So look, I'm going to bring this element in and let's just line it up in the center, giving us 30 pixels of alignment on the left and right hand edge here. And uh, where's our top here? Oh, 
this thing is here. And let's grab, uh, where did our, there, there our little vector went, or our little chevron went. And what about our little uh, meatball menu? There we go, let's call this the meatball. We're renaming it there. Let's make sure that those are lined up. They are aligned now. And let's just make sure things are lining up the way they're supposed to for us because we don't want to break our alignment, right? So 28, 30 pixels from the left and right hand edge, all that's looking really, really good. Okay, great. Now we can take our element here and you know we can customize it a little bit, right? We don't have to keep it the same. So let's move this over to the side and um, let's immediately come in and just decrease the amount of spacing to be like eight pixels. Now it's more of a left-hand aligned uh, like row, which works really, really nicely for us. And it, like, it allows us to bring another element into our into our uh, our component kind of that we've created here, right? And all we have to do is kind of center it and now everything should kind of center and lock in. And let's switch these around. So one of the greatest things you can do is reuse elements and, and you know, simplify them or, or or not add lots of variation to them, but just kind of flip things around a little bit. That'll be super helpful. So we can call this like session one. Uh, I don't want the weird space from the actual like list there. So let's call, what, what is the names of our meditations here? This one says knocked. Okay. So let's call that knocked and we will delete that right there. That looks pretty good. Now we want to be able to have like an on off state, but we can do that. Um, we can do that pretty well. Um, but I think would be also kind of fun here inside of this ellipse. Let's do another ellipse inside of it and just add that and bring it over. Whoa, whoa, here we go. This group, uh, let's just align all of our elements here. Beautiful. Okay. So now we have the, I'm going to call it kind of like my timer on the top. I'm going to do a stroke and I'm going to bring in a little bit of our accent color here. Okay. I'm going to turn off the fill and I'm going to come in and I'm going to mess with a little bit of the arc. Yeah. 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 Like that. And I'm going to bring the ratio all the way out to the edge like that. And then let's get the start to be at the top there. And we're going to have to go the other way around like this. And then we can start and then we can sweep. Right. Okay, cool. So let's say like you finished about 50% of it. It's going to look like that. And you can actually change the uh, borders, I think, to be dashed uh, and change the joints as well. Okay, that works. That that actually, that works fine. Now, what I want to do is, I do I like it on the very outside or do I want it to space? My little timer circle could actually kind of space inside of my play button to show that you know you've 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 accomplished like a certain amount and this is not going to say the date this is going to say like 12 minutes for the meditation right okay cool um i like that and then what we can do is we can actually copy this and paste another version space it out about eight pixels, maybe 16 pixels, something like that. And then shift A, now we have them in an auto layout. Check this out. Now we can just command C, command V, boom, 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 and fill up our list. And if we want to, we can take our list up a little bit so that it actually, you know, feels a little bit more dynamic um, and sits on top of it. It's not so like, segmented, right? Everything should flow and feel really kind of like all one unit all put together. I think this is a really, really nice look. All we would have to do is go in here and change the names of all of these, you know, to match the meditations. That works good. And now, you know, what we could do is we can come in to a few of these and maybe we've favorited them. And so we can fill it with our yellow and we can stroke with our yellow like so. And now we have a couple of favorited ones and some of them we could take the, uh, the little timer thing off. We just press command shift H and we can hide those like so. And now they are hidden. Um, and so now we just, you know, we could go into our components and create variants of these. So we could turn on and off all of our variations 
Um, but that, you know, that's our list screen. I think it looks pretty nice. Last thing we have to do now is just work on our timer screen. So I'm actually gonna move this over to the side and then move these together so we can kind of be looking at our progress so far. I like it, I like our progress so far. So um, with the ocean in mind, let's say we are, you know, we're doing one of these ocean meditations, we would wanna carry on that that vibe of, of, you know, this particular one. So um, let's grab, I think that's the frame that has the entire image inside of it. Let's see, and I'm just, nope, that's not. Let's grab the image and paste it inside of our timer. And that's just our timer. That's okay, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna hit O and we're gonna hit, create this ellipse and just center align the whole thing like so. And then we should be able to grab Command C and let's see if we can paste this guy here. Good, okay, that works. We can grab this frame and actually we can just use this frame and make it around the same size. What's our size of our circle? It's 342. So let's do a 342 by 342, not 3042, 342. And then we'll just take our border radius and just manipulate it until it's all the way into a circle. Great, so now instead of using, because this is just needs to show our nice subtle kind of like image there, confirmation. I think this will probably be down at the bottom. Um, let's do a fun thing here. I'm just gonna hit O for ellipse again. Let's draw another one. And then uh, it'd be nice to give this thing kind of like a little bit of a border. So I'm just going to drop this behind and line these things up really quickly, okay? Beautiful, they're kind of aligned. Let's go in here and let's go pure white. And then let's do a little bit of a glass effect over it. I think that could be fun. So to do that, um, I'm going to go into effects, add an effect and go to layer blur. And I'm gonna turn the layer blur up to something like 12, uh, or actually not layer blur, black, background blur, excuse me, to 12. And then I'm gonna zoom in on this so you can start seeing me build out this glass effect. I'm gonna bring the fill down a little bit like that. And then uh, I'm gonna put another effect on it, which is just a little bit of a drop shadow. We'll get this down to like 3%, something real subtle. Um, I'm gonna do another effect on it. I'm gonna do an inner shadow and I'm gonna bring the opacity on that sucker down like really, really far, like 2%. And um, let's see, let's just play with the opacity there like that. So there's just a little bit of a, and we'll take the, the blur down to like something like one or two, it's real subtle. The whole thing's real subtle. And then uh, the last thing we're gonna wanna do is put a stroke on it. And this stroke is going to need to be a linear gradient. And let's do pure white down here. And let's do like opaque white, um, you know, like 0% white up there. And so we'll get a little bit of this like kind of like shine. And I, I think we put it in the wrong corners. That's that's all right, but that, I think that's looking kind of good. And again, you can just now play with the opacity of your fill and find the right kind of like glass look of your choosing. I'm gonna be around like 45%. And if we wanted to, we could do like another fill inside of this. And instead we could do like an image or like a texture or something like that and make it feel a little bit more gritty or glassy. Um, but that just adds like a nice little, just a nice little effect there, I think. So let's take uh, some of our text maybe here and just duplicate it. And I think we'll grab those elements, the glass and the image, we'll group it together. Let's just make sure everything's centered and let's pop this inside and we'll flip it the other way around so that it says, uh, like this one was called, the, the first meditation was called knocked. So we'll put knocked in there. Um, and we'll probably, let's do something like, where is this uh, like meditation? Like, actually we'll do like the narrator um, or let's just copy this one really quickly. The, the information we have here, like trusting. And then this one says, uh, trusting in, just excuse me, God, trusting God. Let's fix our typing here, trusting God in all our circumstances. Cool, okay, that is not spelled correctly, but 
here we go. Let's grab these two things and we'll just align them in the center. And I think we're just gonna need to go a little bit bigger. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna freestyle it and just hit K for scale. And doesn't need to be that big. What's this thing at? This could be 18, that looks pretty awesome. And then let's come over here and jump this up to like semi bold, beautiful. Okay, that looks pretty cool. And uh, if we wanted to, we could, you know, like, dictate like how the text is going to sit so it's like center aligned a little bit more and i feel like we probably need like similar controls that we had back here in case there's like something else you need to do like obviously go back or like change some settings let's move this up into view a little bit more and then we have like the name of our um, meditation trusting and um you know like a little something something about it let's play a little bit with like check out light, I think light looks actually kind of cool. So let's do light really quickly. All we have to do is bring in our play button, play and pause button. We actually already kind of created a play and pause button, didn't we? So I'm gonna grab this, command C, um, and I'm just gonna copy it and paste it over here. I'm gonna take it out of that. It doesn't need to be in that auto layout at all. But why don't we put like skipping ahead by 10 seconds there. And let's just make sure this thing's lined up in the very middle. Cool, okay, I'm gonna put our control to skip 10 seconds there. You shouldn't skip your meditations though. You really shouldn't. So, uh, and I'm gonna press Shift H to just horizontally flip that arrow around. And then I think the last thing we need to do is just build like a little bit of a scrubber. This this scrubber here, I don't I think maybe it's supposed to like, you're supposed to set your mood with it. I'm not really sure. It's not what a timeline or a scrubber should be. And they're they're really relying on this scrubber uh, or this timeline, but that's a really bad control in my opinion. If I wanna go back, I, I feel like I should be able to go back. So I'm going to build a scrubber like that I would like to use. It's all consistent and succinct. It's all very neutral and calm. We're still using a little bit of imagery, but we're letting that imagery actually take center stage, actually kind of highlight, which is pretty cool, I think. We did ditch a little bit of the excess things like excess navigation items, tucking them in avatars, and we would have to do a whole UX process on how those things play out. But as far as redesigning the application and making the vibe and the visual tone and style of the application match the content of the application, I think this is much better. What do you think? Let me know down in the description. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I do lots of videos about design and development and design tutorials and walkthroughs like this one. So ring that bell, stick around, become a subscriber. If you have any questions, leave those down in the comments and I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you're having an amazing week. I hope you're designing amazing things. I hope you're making amazing things and I hope you're using your skills to make the world a better place one app at a time. See you in the next one.